Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Neoliberal Round Podcast. I am Ronaldo McKenzie. Today, we have an update from the mouth of Mr. John Anthony Castro, who is running for the U.S. 2024 presidential candidate. We've been following him. We've been following his story. We interviewed him for about an hour and a half some time ago. And so, and he, sub, he sent us a, a, a video and it's also available on his Twitter page explaining the suit, which he actually finally filed on July 25th. He, in DC, John Castro, Anthony Castro, filed a suit against the FEC and against Donald Trump, saying that Donald Trump is ineligible to be on the ballot in 2024. And because of his involvement in January 6th insurrection, and, he, and, John, and, Don, and John Castro will tell you that he stakes his candidacy on this particular issue. Um, we've been following Mr. Castro. We've been interviewing Mr. Castro, who is a 2024 presidential candidate who currently resides in Dallas, and he is the founder and president of AI Tax, which is a company that was just valued at $180 million. But he is a Republican, and he is taking on a fellow Republican. And um, we, we know recently that Liz Cheney lost her seat because she opposed and she criticized Donald Trump. Will, will this go down very well um, with other Republicans? Um, will, will John Castro feel well? Because anyone that goes up against Donald Trump loses. So will this particular suit amount to anything? But you will hear, but what we're gonna do in this episode, the first 10 minutes is a video that he had submitted um, via his Twitter page and he submitted it to us explaining explaining why he is filing this suit and, 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 and how confident he is. And he says that even if this particular suit does not, is thrown out or they do not win, what will happen is that it, provide, well, it provides a learning opportunity for them, a blueprint as to what to do in 2023. So it's not a win-lose, it's a win-win for them, even if they lose in a sense, because they are, because this is also a learning opportunity. But so the first part is 10 minutes of a video that he submitted explaining the suit uh, and, and, and why the suit. And then um, the second part of the video is a bonus video. It's a video, it's a, it's a one and a half hour interview that we did with Mr. Castro. And we have it here, we talked about his life, talked about why he's running, talked about where he's coming from, from humble beginnings to what he's doing now. So if you want to get into who he is, and we did a podcast already, but it was an audio podcast, but we now have it available, the full video interview with on this show with Mr. Castro. So the first 10 minutes is a, is a video that he submitted um, talk, um, talking, uh, it's a press, in a sense, a release that he submitted talking about this particular filing. And then the next particular segment of this show is the one and a half hour interview that I did with Mr. Castro via Zoom for this show. So you will get to hear that, which is a bonus or a rerun, but it was never, I don't think you guys had an opportunity to see the live video. We have the video here for you today. So thank you for listening to the, uh, and for watching the Neoliberal Round podcast. And I hope that you continue to share the show with your friends, subscribe, send us a feedback and donate at ACTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash the near lib uh, anchor dot fm slash the near liberal slash support thank you for 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 supporting us and the next segment you will hear um john castro and then after that we john castro talking about the july 25th suit and then after that we will carry the bonus vi live the bonus video interview that we did some time ago about an hour and a half where we i interviewed him about his life about his career, about his dreams, about his futures, about his passions, and about his goals to be the next U.S. president. Thank you for listening. We'll be right back after this.